with goodwill for the entire world. That's a phrase from the Metta Sutta. That sounds nice. It's not easy. Because look, look at the way the world has been behaving. Pretty venial. Yet still we have to have goodwill for everybody. It's not necessarily because they deserve it, but, but we need it. Because regardless of what other people do, our actions are what are going to determine our future and determine our present moment. The amount of suffering we're going to feel in the present moment, or the lack of suffering. And so for that we have to be very careful about our actions. And this is why we have to have goodwill for everybody, not wanting to harm anybody, not wanting to see anybody suffer. Because if we do want to see somebody suffer, we're going to act in unskillful ways toward that person. And that becomes our karma. It piles more opportunities for suffering on top of us. So we have to have goodwill for everybody. We want to think about what is in their true best interest. We don't use other people. We don't abuse other people. We think of them as beings who want to find happiness too. That's what I said, you can go the entire world and not find anybody that you love more than yourself, but everybody else loves themselves that much as well. So if our happiness depends on their suffering, then that happiness is not going to last. So you have good for everybody. In other words, hoping that they will see the true causes for happiness, be willing and able to act on them. And you're not going to get in the way of that. Whatever you can, you help. But there are a lot of areas where you can't. This is why goodwill has to be paired with equanimity. We want people to be happy, but a lot of people are doing things that are not going to lead to happiness. And you can't stop them. And so in cases like that, you just have to say, well, that's their business. We each have to take care of ours, because the things we're responsible for are our actions. And all too often, if we're concerned about the actions of others, we forget about our own actions and start getting careless. So try to understand what goodwill means and try to cultivate it all the time. He said to John Munn every day, as soon as he got up, first thing he did was spread goodwill to everybody. After his afternoon nap, spread goodwill to everybody. Before going to bed at night, spread goodwill to everybody. That was the framework for the teaching, framework for the practice. So it's always good to keep that framework in mind. As the Buddha said, it is a form of mindfulness a skillful quality that we want to develop.